Hi guys, today we're going to go through IXL assignment in B5, identify proportional relationships from graphs and equations. First, let's talk about what a proportional relationship is. So a proportional relationship is a relationship, so some sort of, you know, combination here, where we have two variables. In this case, our variables are an X and a Y, because we're on the coordinate plane, we're on a graph, and their relationship, their ratio is equivalent, is equal. We can see this relationship either represented as an equation, as a table of values, or as a graph. So first, let's talk about what it would be if it's represented as an equation. So if it's as an equation, our equation would be in this format, y equals kx. There is nothing else to it. In order for it to have a constant of proportionality, for it to be proportionate, for the ratios to be equal, it needs to be in this form where K is our number. So we could have like the equation Y equals 5X. That would be proportional. We could have the equation Y equals negative 1 half X. That would be proportional. What we can't have would be something like Y equals 7X plus 10. That plus 10 messes up our ratios. They're no longer equivalent because we're adjusting it by 10, so it would not be proportional. Or if we had something like y equals negative 2 thirds x squared, that squared makes it not match. It makes it not proportional. Therefore, if we have an equation and it's proportional, it needs to be in that format, y equals kx. So y equals some number times x. Let's talk about how we can tell from a table. If we have a table of values, each set of ordered pairs needs to have the same ratio and needs to have that same increase. So if we look at this one, our x value goes from one to four, so that increases by three. And then our y value here goes from three to 12. What does that increase by? Well, that increases by nine. If I go to my next set, if I look and continue, because I should have the same pattern each time, that means our ratios are the same, it's increasing by the same constant of proportionality. So if I go to the next one and our x values from four to seven, that once again increases by three. In our y values from 12 to 21, that once again increases by nine. So it's looking like it's constant so far, but with tables, you do have to make sure everything follows that pattern. Seven to 10 increases by three, 21 to 30 increases by nine. We have the same ratio here, three to nine. That means it's a proportional relationship. We're good to go. And last but not least is it could be re represented on a graph. So when it's represented on a graph, what tells us that it's proportional is that it is a straight line. That tells us it's constant. That's what keeps it to be a straight line. It's changing by the same amount. And then the second part is it has to pass through the origin. So it passes through the point zero, zero, your center. Those two things ensure that your line is a proportional relationship. All right, let's head on over to IXL and see if we can figure these ones out for ourselves. Okay, here we are on IXL, identify proportional relationships from graphs and equations. The first thing that I want to share is this IXL is a little bit different because it is a multi-select. So that means it's not just multiple choice and we pick one answer. There could be times where we have to select all that apply. If we read the directions here, it kind of shows us that. Select the graphs that show a proportional relationship between X and Y. Notice that I can either choose both, I can choose one, 
or I can choose none. So you do have to be very careful to look at all of your options so you can choose all of the ones that are proportional. We have a graph here. If we think back to that note sheet we just looked at, the two requirements for whether it's proportional on a graph is one, it needs to be a straight line. They're both straight lines, so that's a good sign. The second requirement is it has to go through the origin. It has to go through that ordered pair zero, zero. If I look at this, it certainly does. It starts at zero, zero. This one also does. That means both of these show a proportional relationship. So they are both going to be selected. Ah, here we have another set of graphs. We once again want to see if they're proportional. So on a graph, we're looking to see if it's a straight line and if it passes through our origin, so the point zero, zero. Well, our first one here, it passes through the origin. It starts at the point zero, zero, but is that a perfectly straight line? No, it's got a curve to it, which means it is not proportional. How about our second one? Our second one starts at the origin, starts at zero, zero and it is a perfectly straight line. So the second one does in fact represent a proportional relationship. Now we have an equation. So we wanna select the equations that show a proportional relationship between X and Y. From our note sheet, in order for it to be a proportional relationship, it needs to be Y equals KX where K represents a number. K is a value. If I look at this first one, I'm going to write it directly underneath so I can see if it matches. I have y, oops, let me fix my colors here. I have y equals 6x. That does match. That matches the form of a proportional relationship. Nothing's being added on the end. There's no exponents. So that means if I were to graph this, it would start at the origin and be a straight line. Let's check out our second one. Our second equation is y equals 4x. That also lines up. That also matches. That is a proportional relationship. Because if I were to graph this, it would start at 0 and our constant of proportionality is four. So it would increase by four every single time, making a nice straight line. So both of these are an answer. Select the equations that show a proportional relationship between X and Y. Once again, remember what we're looking for is that it's in the format Y equals KX, where K is a number. K is our constant of proportionality. My first equation, I have Y equals 9X, and then I have plus 6. Does that match? No, I have a plus 6, and I should have nothing, because that plus 6 means I'm not starting at the origin. So this first one is not a proportional relationship. How about our second one? Y equals 7X. Yeah, that one matches. All right, that matches the form Y equals KX. Our K, our constant of proportionality is 7. So our second choice is the only one that we're going to select. It's the only one that's proportional. Back to a graph. Remember our two requirements for a graph are that it's a straight line and it starts at the origin. What do you guys think? Hopefully you notice that this first one here doesn't start at the origin, does not It starts way up here at the point three. So even though it's a straight line, it doesn't go through the origin. So it's not a proportional relationship. But our second one is, it starts at the origin, starts at zero, and is a straight line. All right, let's bump it up a notch. Ooh, we're in the challenge zone. 
All right, let's look at these two equations here. With an equation, it's y equals kx, where k is a number, k is our proportion, our constant of proportionality. Our first equation, we have y equals 9x squared. Hmm. It looks pretty good, but notice there's that x squared. It's not supposed to have that. It needs to just be x. That squared is actually when you graph it, it's going to make it instead of a straight line, it would be what's called a parabola. It would be a U shaped. So that first one is not a proportional relationship. How about our second one? Y equals, oops, my Y cut off, three fifths X. Yeah, that one does work. Our, our K value, it can be a fraction, it can be negative, it could be a decimal. I have nothing being added to the end, I don't have any exponents, so it does match. If I were to graph this, it would go through the origin and be a nice straight line. So our second one is a proportional relationship. Let's make this be our final one here, guys. What do you think about these two? Are they proportional? They both are. They meet our two requirements. They're straight lines and they go through the origin. They start at zero. All right. So it is your guys' time to try. Remember those key things with a graph. What you're looking for to see if it's proportional is that it's a straight line and goes through zero. If it's an equation, it needs to be in the form y equals kx, where k is a number. So in this one, is this first one right? No, we're adding something to the end that throws it off. It's not proportional. But this second one is that matches y equals kx. y equals 9 fifth x. All right, if you guys have any questions, as always, email your teacher and we'll be happy to help. Bye.